What's up and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be looking back on the day that Borderlands 2 broke. Now, if that thumbnail wasn't enough to get you excited about this story slash retrospective on what has been deemed the most legendary day in Borderlands 2 by popular creator Morning After Kill, a video with proof of the events of the day that Borderlands 2 broke. And unfortunately, this is the only known footage of this. While there may be deleted or privated videos somewhere, I was not able to dig anything up in the making of this video. So shout out to him for allowing me to use the footage in today's upload. But with that, let's just dive straight into it. March 12th of 2013. Also, to make this video as unique as possible, I'd like to share my experience on the day and how I felt about the game-altering change this particular evening. As I'm 20 now, and that would have made me 10 years old on this faithful day that Borderlands 2 would receive this hotfix. A hotfix that was implemented to change the legendary drop rates, but in true Gearbox fashion, they messed something up along the way. That being the value that the legendaries were set to drop at. With the drop rates being dramatically increased, the players were wondering what the hell was going on. Well, with the drop rates being accidentally set to, in simplest terms, 150% upon every lootable source. And if you're at all confused, just bear with me. Now, you may wonder to yourself, how or why would Gearbox do this? Well, it was not on purpose, I could tell you that. They were attempting to make the legendary gear a little bit easier to get before they released the level 61 Ultimate Vault Hunter mode pack. And in turn, meanwhile, I was waking up rubbing boogers out of my crusty dusty eyeballs on my way to the next day of sixth grade. Well, it wasn't until my third class of the day where I would sit in the computer lab, where I'd often dust up on my YouTube knowledge, and around this time, it was peak Borderlands 2 era, so before the teacher got going, and after class, me and my friend, who we will call John for the sake of this video, me and him would always watch YouTube together in this class. And I remember so vividly searching up Borderlands 2, and this was the first upload to pop up. Confused and excited, I click immediately, and what I saw would make my little 10 year old jaw drop. So Legendaries damn near falling out of the sky. I mean seriously, whether it was red chests, random enemies, the warrior, or some little ammo crates. You name it, there was legendaries popping out of it. As me and my friend John sat there in absolute shock, we did this look to each other back and forth with both of our jaws quite literally on the floor in disbelief from what we had just watched. Just at the pure amount of legendaries dropping for such little effort, it was something we had never even thought of or dawned that would happen in this game. It was almost like a sign of things to come. Class would start and I wasn't able to finish the upload immediately. That was until the class was over and I mean the excitement to get home had never been higher. So the school day goes on and the thoughts of hundreds of orange items in my backpack flashes through my mind. I'm ready for the moment. I'm built for it at this point. The rest of my day was spent on imagining this glorious moment where I eventually end off the school day, head back to my house, I turn on the Xbox 360, and I'm getting legendary after legendary after legendary after legendary. But instead, the school day would end, and I would go home and turn on my Xbox 360, where I would eventually figure out that the game had already been patched, as the legendary drop rates had already been reduced back to their original values, making me a very sad hellfire. It doesn't discount the fact that for three hours on this faithful day back in 2013, Borderlands 2 broke. And what's even funnier is apparently Gearbox has a history of stuff like this, with a typo in the code of Aliens Colonial Marines, which made the AI complete garbage, which is further proof to back up the claim that Gearbox is no stranger to these slip-ups. Meaning that in the future, whether it be Borderlands 4 or Tiny Tina's Wonderlands 2, there's always that small chance that something like this could happen again. But it's likely that this wouldn't be the same because of how much the modern drop rates have changed. It's just a little food for thought. Either way, this was something that I've had in my notes of video ideas for over half a year at this point, and I'm just happy I could look back on the day as well as show you some actual footage of the events. 
I really can't explain in words how insane this was to me when I was a kid. Even though I didn't get to experience it for myself, the memories of stumbling across this video will forever be engraved in my mind. The hopes and dreams of this happening again were very high in my 10 year old mind. I remember just thinking, anything could happen at this point. And sure, the legendary drop rates would see an official increase years later, but I'm talking about mistakes to the magnitude of all four items in the chest you just opened being legendaries. I've also just had a lot of fun looking back on these simpler times in my life, or as some of you may know it, the golden age of Borderlands. The days of the only thing on my mind being something in a video game are long behind me, and yes, I still get enjoyment out of playing Borderlands even to this day. But I think you all can understand that sentiment of what you get so excited for as a kid is a lot different compared to what it is as an adult. There's no need in even delving into that any further here, as I'm sure there are plenty of you out there who were or weren't kids during the release of this game. And every single one of us can still come to an agreement that this game is an all-time classic. Or look back on the simpler times or just different scenarios that we were in during that point in life. For me, I was living with my grandma and grandpa, chilling and living life like I was Jeff Hardy, throwing myself off anything remotely high to see if it would hurt, or telling the kids at school to suck it. Okay, okay, let's bring it back in. Regardless of how old you were or where you were in life, you likely have memories connected to this game that will go with you straight into the grave. Even if you just started playing this game here recently, I say this to anybody who is newer to Borderlands. You have years ahead of you, hundreds of moments, and countless memories. Just keep playing. But yeah, that's really it. Now I want to ask my OGs, what do you remember from this day? Did you get to experience it for yourself? I'd love to hear any of your stories, or did you see the videos? Either way, I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. A little shorter video for today, but I also wanted to talk to the subscribers, the community that I've worked for here on YouTube. Unfortunately, I'm no longer going to exclusively use the classic outro song that you've heard for about 90% of the content here. As YouTube has been kicking my ass with the copyright system lately, despite me actually having complete access to this song, as it's in the editing program that I own a lifetime license to the editor which gave me access to the song. And these have also been manual claims, meaning that someone is actually going in and filing this complaint on their own, meaning that my video will basically be tanked within the first 15 hours until someone decides to review it and then fix it because they realize I've done nothing wrong. They've persisted with the copyright, so I think I'm going to just use it in one more video next week, and that might just be it for the OG outro music if they decide to hit that one with the copyright as well. But with that out of the way, I'm happy I was able to talk about this day in Borderlands history as it's a topic I don't see mentioned enough. But yeah, that's really all I've got for you guys today though. I also just wanted to say I hope you all did enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure to press a like on it and subscribe if you guys are new. I love you all to death. I also want to say thank you all for watching this video in its entirety. Please take it easy out there. And with that, I will see you all in the next one.